So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar, and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Kalidou Koulibaly. It's easy to just focus on the physical side of his game, Peter, because he's so powerful and quick, making it basically impossible for a forward to get the better of him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But there's more to his game. He reads the play extremely well and rarely gets caught out of position. And for me, just a complete all-round defender. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. So it's away we go then. Husai. And here's Insignia. Lorenzo Insignia. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. There are a few waiting for it. Husai. Zielinski. Kusai, Zielinski, Zielinski drives it forward. Just to locate someone up front. I, to say, I think a cautious start from both teams. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Lozano. Lozano. Napoli have a free kick. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Senior puts too much behind that. This game is in need of some excitement. It needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Lozano. Manolas. Fabian Ruiz. Zielinski. Fabian Ruiz. Being played forward. He's got options out wide. Heads it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out.
drives it towards the front. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Forward it goes. Looking for space out wide. Time to deliver. Fabian Ruiz. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Zielinski. Chip through. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. And it's got through. And a header! <laughs> Goal! Napoli! Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal. Great delivery and a finish to match. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Napoli take the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And they've reached half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Napoli head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And the game has already resumed here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. And here's Mertens, shooting chance! It's gone a long way up and away. Clearance is short. Shot a goal! Really well taken goal. A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Napoli had a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Fabian Ruiz. It's always a good time to register and, and lay down a, an early marker in the second half. They clearly had exactly that in mind and have gone about their business with absolutely the right commitment. <laughs> Tries to 
get it forward quickly. Zielinski. Fabian Ruiz. Zielinski. Hoists it forward. Usai gets into a dangerous position. And helps available out wide. Lorenzo Insigne. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Oh, that's a real disappointment as well, after he worked so hard to just get into position and get on the end of that in the first place. A lot of effort for very little reward. And it's played forward. Challenge, he just stood firm. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Lorenzo Insignia. Koulibaly, Zielinski, Fabian Ruiz, half an hour gone in the second half, Husai, now it's Insigne, Zielinski, Husai, lovely feet, and here's Insigne, Way. And the counter is on. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Lozano. Mertens already, of course, on the score sheet. In comes the crook. Header! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. He simply mistimed the header, and it was as if he knew it wasn't going to work out. Spezia have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Just five minutes left. Koulibaly plays it forward. Mertens gets it back. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Manolas. Forward it goes. And the referee brings it to a close. So they have their win, they had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the result followed inevitably. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, and a result that was true to form, a big team beating a, a not-so-big team, and a lesson dealt. Well, that's the lot for now, thanks to you, Jim.